I had a need recently to replicate something I used to do when I was a Flash developer a lot, which would be to have essentially a, a graphic that would change as a mouse rollover and a mouse rollout. Like we did in Flash, it's very simple. With Flash, you just, you know, you either use a button or you can create the movie clear with some simple action script. And I thought I'd share with you the simple way that I, I decided to do it in Flex. Um, this way I'm going to do it with a simple little component because I always like to do things where I can reuse them in the future. So what we've got here, I've just created a, an empty project with an empty canvas as you can see. And I have two files, uh, one called icon over and one called what icon off. And basically they're just two graphic PNG files, slightly different so you can see you know, the action taking place. So what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new little custom component here in case I need have need for multiple instances and I like to do things in components anyway. So we're just going to call this one icon example and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a size of let's see 36 by 36 pixels. I, I happen to know that the icons are pretty small so we'll just complete that there. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is, since this is literally just going to be images, I'm going to add an image in here. Just drag and drop the image component. Set the location to zero. And now point the source at the icon off image in the folder that you see over here. So we just have this little, little blue button. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up here and create a new state. And I'm just going to call this icon over. And in the icon over state, I'm actually going to change this PNG file to the other one, icon over, which is just green with a couple of little circles so you can just see that it's changed there. I just want something easy for you to see. So there we have our, our two states. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to switch over. I'm going to quickly give this a name because it's always good to give these things IDs. We'll call this icon image. and now I'm going to switch over to code view. So here you can see we have our icon image plus we have you know this extra icon over state and of course the default. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add some very simple script in here and I'm just going to create a couple of functions. So I'm going to create a private function called icon over. It's not going to return anything and I'm just going to tell it to basically change state here. So if you've seen my previous videos, this should be familiar, current state equals, and we're going to change to the icon over state, and I'm going to create another function, and we'll call this one icon out. And we're going to do this dot current state equals and empty. Now putting it empty there says you know go back to your default state in case you haven't seen that before. So what we're going to do now is we'll go down to the the icon image component that we have here and we need to add in some event listeners, some events. So we're going to say you know when we have the mouse over event we want to call the icon over function and when we have the mouse out event we want to call the icon out function. There we go. So that's that. We'll just go back here. We'll save this. And now if I go back to my my main application here, you'll see that I've got my custom icon. So I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the stage there. There's the little blue. And if we now just debug this, just run and debug this, you'll see that we have the blue and as we roll over we have the green and roll out again but notice you know we're not getting that interactive behavior you know you might want to click on this well you need to tell the user hey you can click on this very simple to do we'll just go back to the component here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna say button mode equals true and that what that basically says is as the the icon rolls as the mouse you know cursor rolls over there we want it to change to the the hand icon to say hey you can do something you know you can click on this so we'll just run it again let's save that run it again and now as we do it you can see you know we've got the same behavior we roll over and the icon changes roll out changes back again and we have the 
the hand icon that says, hey, if there was a functionality in here, you know, you could now click and respond to that user event. So that's that's how we do that. That's just a very quick example there. You know, um, the reason I like to do it as components is, like I say, you know, I can think of, you know, if I was doing this for navigation or something like that, you know, you can have multiple instances, and since all the code is self-contained, you know, you don't have to worry about any complicated code or anything like that. Each one is a contained instance, and you can respond accordingly. So that's just a, a quick little example of how I got around a problem that I needed to solve. Just a couple of little functions, two little image files, and uh, you swap them out over a different state. And I hope that's helpful.